Greetings folks, a uh, cool little bit of kit from Toolkit RC to show you today. Uh, this is sent to me by Hobby Porter for the review, also available on Banggood and there'll be a link in the description for the Banggood link. It's the M6D Dual Smart Charger. Chargers have come a long way in the last five years. Let's have a quick look at, there's the little unit there, I'll just tell you some of the specs first because that's important. Where are they on the back? Uh, input voltage 7 to 28 volts. It'll charge LiPos, LiHV, LiFE, lithium iron, and nickel metal hydride, and lead batteries. Power, total power is 500 watts in synchronous mode. That's where you use both charging circuits to charge one battery, or charging two batteries, it's 250 watts per channel. All has, also has a USB charger, 2.1 amps at 5 volts. And it's also upgradable, firmware upgradable through that USB port. So let's have a look at it. So there we go, nice little unit with a nice bit of weight to it too, which is important for chargers. Uh, it means it's got a, a nice uh, mass of metal in it. Cooling fan there, that's the input XT60 on the top and USB uh, charging port there. On the bottom there's the two XT60 outputs uh, with the balance ports as well. And controls are via uh, a click button there and a scroll wheel and click button. So let's have a closer look at the function. There's the little charger also in the box. We get a USB cable, USB, whatever you call them, A, I suppose, and a little bit of a, a quick guide there, but the main instruction manual is downloadable via the Toolkit RC uh, website, and I'll provide a link to that in the description. A few little details there. All right, so let's plug a battery in to provide some charging power. And she lights up. So we can see the two different channels here. We can flick from channel to channel using the channel and exit button there. And if we plug a battery in to be charged, this is uh, 4S in the top and 3S 2200 down the bottom here. I believe you can step up the voltage. We'll try that anyway with a big 2S going into a small 3 or 4S I guess. So there we get voltage on the screen and individual cells there as well. Now something I really like if you push and hold exit for two seconds it will measure the internal uh, resistance. There we go 15, 16 and 15. A lot of my batteries are <laughs> sagging badly these days so this is going to be a useful feature for me. Charge the other one in. This is a little 2S uh, 1300. And we've got uh, 9.3, 9.3, that's nicely balanced. Choose that channel, do the internal resistance measurement. And 14 milliohms per channel. There you go. All right, so let's uh, go back to the 3S, and you can have, uh, it remembers the last five uh, battery setups that you've charged. Change the battery type there, LiPo, LiHV, etc, etc. You can use it as a power supply, variable power supply, which would be, would be good for hot wire cutting. You can set the voltage and current, and it will charge um, some common uh, multi-rotor batteries as well and this is where the uh, firmware updates will keep up to date with the latest I guess. It's back out of there and you can set the maximum current maximum current 15 amps
Go back to lithium ion, to uh, lipo. Auto, or you can tell it how many cells. Let's leave it on auto. Mode, charge, discharge, or storage charge. Set the in voltage and the charge current as well. So I can change from channel 1 to channel 2 there, set it up for the uh, two different batteries. And we'll start the charge going. So there we go, that's charging now. You can see the input voltage there, the charge current there milliamp hours and the time and we'll do the same for we'll leave that at the same I guess and now channel 2 is charging so that's nice and easy to use it would be a great thing to just sling in your bag when you go to the field you could charge this from your car battery if you had the relevant uh, cables or any sort of larger size battery charging into smaller ones all right so I'll pull these batteries out yeah oh before i go i'm going to see if i can charge a 4s battery from a, a 2s battery stepping up the voltage 2s2200 is plugged in Four S thirteen hundred and that's working, that's stepping up from eight volts, charging a sixteen volt battery at low current because it's already pretty well charged up. This is a, an almost full battery, so let's see what happens when it's uh, fully charged. We'll just leave it for a while. So that's the channel one charge complete. So that's what happens. Very good. Let's change it to power supply. There we go. Output voltage we can go up to 28 amps output voltage. I typically on my hot wire cutting bow I use uh, a 4S battery so around 16.4 I guess and the current you could also do it via current as well I know I need about five and a half amps to heat my wire up so no matter uh, what uh, length what size bow I've got two different size bows so the big bow and the little bow they both use, use the same current but at different voltage so I could just set the current like that and I know it will heat up to the right um, temperature for cutting so that's excellent that's very useful so there we go a little m6d dual charger great little piece of kit from toolkit rc and available at banggood thanks for watching no,